Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to create custom sequences in Premiere Pro. Now when we create a new sequence in Premiere Pro, let's do one, so we can either do File, New Sequence, or we can use the keyboard shortcut Control N on a PC, Command N on a Mac, or alternatively we can go to the bottom of the project panel to the New Items icon, click on that and click on Sequence. A new sequence dialog box appears and we've got the presets. Now I work in HDV so I've got HDV 1080i interlaced 25, 25 frames per second because I'm on PAL which also equates to 50 fields per second so that's where the 50i comes from and if I was an NTSC I would be choosing this one 28i interlaced 30 frames per second, 60i two fields per frame that's where the 60 comes from. So these are what I would use for my HDV but I know that my camera can actually film at 50 frames per second. So it's HDV, but it can shoot at 50 frames per second, and I also happen to know that the actual diameters that it films in are much smaller than the standard 1440 by 1080. How do I then go about making a custom sequence that can take these things into consideration? Well, the first thing to try is to go to the General tab, and when you go to the general tab you'll see there's a whole load of stuff that's unavailable to me. So for instance I said I could go at 50 frames per second. If I drop my time base down the only other option I have is the NTSC 29.97. So I can't get to 50 frames per second. Um, and I can't change my frame size that's kind of locked. Um, and oh well it was going to be progressive and not upper field first. Oh well maybe I can go back and choose a progressive preset. There's a progressive preset uh, 1080p 25. So click on that and go to the general tab. Oh yeah, okay, so I've got no fields. It is now progressive, although it's greyed out and I can't change it. And, well, I've got one more option, but that's no use to me. I can't get to 50 frames per second. How do I change these things? And I certainly can't change the frame size. It's all greyed out. How do I access the settings to be able to make custom sequences? And it's as simple as this. Where it says editing mode, you click the drop down and you go right to the top where it says desktop. And as I click on desktop, you'll see that certain things become ungrade. Click on that, and immediately I can change my frame size. So if I want to make it much smaller to take into account the, um, the smaller frame size for shooting in high speed mode, then I can change it here. Uh, let's have a look at time base. Drop down time base, there you go. 50 frames per second, easy for me to choose. And it's progressive, but if I wanted to change it to interlaced or upper field first or lower field first, it can change in there. And also, I've got access to my pixel aspect ratios. Previously, all I had was 1.33. However, now I have access to a whole series of other pixel aspect ratios that might work better for the sequence that I need to create. I can't tell you what to do here. All I can say is this is how you get to the custom settings for your sequence. You may not be able to answer all your problems in here, but it certainly make a big difference. So the key is editing mode, desktop. And what I would recommend is you actually start off with a preset that's close to what you want. So for instance, if you know you work in HDV or it's going to be close to HDV, find one that's near to what you want, click on that, then go to your general tab, then choose desktop, and then you don't need to change quite so much. So we can choose our 50 frames per second and we can change our pixel aspect ratio, I can make it progressive, what, whatever works for you in this particular one. And once it's done, save the preset. You've got this little button at the bottom, save the preset. You click the save preset, name it. I'll just call it Andrew's Custom. And we can give it a description. We can click OK. And then Andrew's Customs is saved. And it's come right at the bottom there. And as you can see, it's given me a new folder at the bottom that says Custom. And there's Andrew's Custom Sequence and it tells me about it down here. And the description I gave it would be put up here at the top. So if it was for a specific camera, if it was for a specific project, whatever I needed to do, it would have been in the description had I given it one. So that's how you can create custom sequences. And then you select it, name it, click OK in exactly the same way that you would in normal circumstances. However, if you don't want it, please note down here you have delete preset. So if you've finished with it and you don't think you're ever going to use it again, I mean, if it's not doing any harm, you might as well leave it there because, as I often say, you never know. But if you don't think you're ever going to use it again, then you can simply delete the preset and it's gone. Resets the whole list of presets and I haven't got any custom presets back in there. So that's how you can create a custom sequence 
to meet a specific editing requirement when you have one of those peculiar things that come along every now and then and you need to deal with it. I hope this helps. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching. Thank you.